Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and Patch Tuesday is upon us. So um, just this first video about the install phase, how long did it uh, take for me and uh, how well it went on my computers. Later on today, we'll have a full rundown of uh, what has been fixed, but there's a lot of security uh, issues that are fixed in this uh, version or in this uh, Patch Tuesday update. Last Patch Tuesday update for Windows 7, so uh, it's the end and we'll have some videos with this today. So here's the uh, rundown of what I got. Cumulative update for Windows 10, version 1909 for me. I got a uh, Windows malicious software removal tool, which is the monthly update for security. Uh, this is January, January 2020 update. And we got the cumulative update for .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8. So that's what you should actually see on your computer. Uh, if you're on the different Windows version, what you have is uh, basically um, the update brings your build number, and you can check that with the WinVer command. Uh, 18363.592 if you're in 1909, the November 2019 update. If you're on the May 2019 update, same number, except that it's 18362 rather than 18363, but it ends also by 592 because they are the same type of updates. Um, if you're on the uh, previous version, the uh, October 2018 update, you're still getting updates, of course. You're getting uh, bill number 18, um, sorry, 17, 3, 17763, sorry, 17763.973. So that's for the uh, October or version 1809, uh, the October 2018 update. And that is, of course, uh, once again, security updates for sure. Uh, previous than that, well, there's no more updates for regular users on the home or the uh, uh, you know pro versions. It's only enterprise. Uh, there's updates for enterprise, of course, for the longer term support. But for uh, most of you, that's where it ends and that's where it's all happening. The install phase went well for me. Uh, it was a little longer at the 100% uh, finish line. So when you get that blue screen and it starts giving you the percentage of upgrade where it is at 100%, it stayed there for a little while. So don't worry if it's a little longer. Just let it do what it has to do. But overall, it was a pretty quick update. But of course, it can take anywhere from you know a few minutes to half an hour, depending on your computer, the speed, um, use an SSD or not. So uh, hang in there. Just let it do what it has to do. One of the common problems of people updating and having problems is because they think it's too long and they shut down the computer while it updates and that's probably the worst thing you can do um, shutting down the computer while there's a windows update so just let it do what it needs to do do something else come back your computer should be at the start screen again of course these are patch tuesday updates so there's anything that goes wrong or anything that is noted we'll talk about it this is the channel for that where we follow closely what's happening and uh well windows 7 Last Batch Tuesday, you're getting cumulative updates today also. Windows 8.1, of course, you guys are getting an update also, so check it out. And uh, this is, of course, the uh, second Tuesday of the month. It's the security updates time. Uh, fixes, uh, so if we look at the uh, rundown, quick rundown, security updates for Windows App Platform, Frameworks, Input and Composition, Windows Management, with Windows Cryptography, that's the really big flaw that they uh, are fixing today. Windows Storage and File Systems, uh, Microsoft Scripting Engine, and Windows Server. So uh, there's uh, some stuff in there. Doesn't seem to have bug fixes. Sometimes they issue bug fixes within a version of Windows 10 with the cumulative update for uh, security. This seems to be really focused only on security updates. So uh, whatever version you have on Windows 10. So I hope it all goes well, and we'll have a rundown of the exact number of uh, you know security flaws and how many of them are important, critical, zero day, and so on, a little later today. And, uh, of course, uh, today is, once again, your last batch Tuesday if you're still on Windows 7. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.